A new tourist train in Quebec could be the first step in a green transit revolution. The first hydrogen-powered train in North America is officially running. It was developed by French rail manufacturer Alsum, and it can take 120 passengers from Quebec City up along the St. Lawrence River. Gordon Lovegrove is an associate professor in engineering and sustainable transport at the University of British Columbia in Okanagan. Welcome to your morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. I think this train is news to a lot of people. How does hydrogen rail technology differ, first of all, from diesel engines or the traditional electrified trains? Yeah, well, in fact, in uh, North America and in Europe, pretty well every train is electric. It's just how you come up with that electric power. So the big difference is that in North America, we've got diesel electric uh, traditionally and diesel issues particulates, it, it has many emissions including noise, uh, greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, things like that, that, that are carcinogenic and climate changing and poisonous. Whereas what we're talking about with the island Cradia that's being demonstrated in Quebec is a zero mission when uh, it's using a hydrogen fuel cell to produce that electricity to run the train. The emissions are water. Uh, electricity and a little bit of heat. So uh, it's effectively zero emission. You can drink it. Let's put it that way. It doesn't kill people. I'll leave that to you to do. All right. In, in uh, 2021, <laughs> transport was the source of 22% of Canada's greenhouse gas emissions, 150 megatons of carbon dioxide equivalent emitted. This makes it the second largest source of emissions in our country. So how would hydrogen, like this hydrogen train, cut down on emissions from the transport sector? How's that? How's that? <laughs> you you really you really have a, a technology disruptor with the powertrain that this is using a hydrogen fuel cell that uh, powers batteries keeps them charged. You've got onboard hydrogen fuel tanks, so you don't have to have overhead wires. You don't have to have a third rail. You don't have to have diesel gas stations. Uh, what you have is green hydrogen. Uh, Quebec produces green hydrogen and uh, it is stored on board the train and used just like a diesel electric train would use diesel on board. This now uses hydrogen on board. So this is mm. this is a technology disruptor. So from everything, from what you're saying, it sounds like it solves a lot of the problems that we're facing environmentally and otherwise here in Canada. Why haven't we seen the changeover to more rail systems? Uh, it's actually starting it's it's a it's a old news story in europe uh it's expanding it's been in germany for the last uh, few years it's been demonstrated and, and worked on and researched out of france for over 20 years the netherlands are looking at it uh, different countries across europe are looking at it. even the state of california is looking at it uh, utah massachusetts uh, amtrak it's being looked at and it's now come to Canada and why is because North America is freight dominated. We don't have a lot of passenger rail corridors and those that we have are often shared with freight rail. If this is going to be successful, we need separate passenger rail corridors for reliability because the passenger trains obviously move at different speeds than freight trains. And so it's it's going to take a while. It's going to be a part of the just transition. It's not a panacea. It's not for everybody. But hydrogen uh, power, rail power is now being explored by the likes of CP Rail Kansas City right across the, the fleet of freight locomotives. And we'll see this. Not everybody is going to be able to afford a, an electric car right away. Uh, this is part of that just transition for intercity travel. And already in cities, we already have electric uh, light rail systems mm -hmm. within a lot of our cities already. So this is really um, helping solve the intercity uh, travel problem. You're working on a similar project at UBC. So how soon could we see a hydrogen train network rolled out across the country? Oh, this is a great question. I wish it was yesterday, actually. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yeah, this is this is part of our our visualization video. We've been working on it for a few years. We've got a, a freight yard switcher locomotive being retrofitted right now in in Westminster in Vancouver. Uh, that'll be uh, starting. Uh, the, the components are on it. We'll be starting testing, and we'll see commercial testing happening next year. Passenger rail. There are, are discussions going on in various corridors and communities across Canada. We're uh, looking at and. And you could see this. It depends on this demonstration trial. And, and Transport Canada is very involved. A lot of folks are looking at this thing very closely. I, I think the key word here, people want to assess, is it safe? Does it work? What are the practical logistics? The, there need to be folks to maintain it. So we need retraining. It's part of that big transition, the, the right. capital T transition. It's going to take some time. So I want to say, OK, 
uh, a few years, realistically, given the what the way training and, and rollouts happen, yeah. it's probably uh, five to ten years away. Five to ten years away. Hey, Professor Gordon Lovegrove, enjoyed our conversation today. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Henry. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.